Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for another full self-driving video. We are headed to my parents' house uh, to help them do some projects. Uh, this is our test route one. Uh, so if you haven't seen these videos before, I have standard test route playlist. If you want to see how different versions perform on full self-driving, so you can go all the way back to, I think I even have some on the version 8, 8.2, I think is when I started. And you can go all the way back and see what the colored squares uh, with, for cars and everything else. If you're interested in seeing that type of history, I have quite a few videos in that catalog. So you can go back and just side by side compare the same exact route and see what everything looks like. But obviously, it is raining this morning. And something I should note that I, didn't, I did not notice until uh, a commenter said something. Thank you for uh, commenting on that. Uh, the wipers, unless I just did not pay attention, the wipers did not falsely wipe one time yesterday, and it was overcast the whole day, which is a 100% improvement, like literally 100% improvement over the previous uh, two updates. So something clearly changed with the neural nets on the rain, uh, on the wipers, and what I'm seeing here is that this is working at least as good as what it used to work like for rain like this is perfect this is exactly how fast I want my wipers to be going with this level of rain now they might go a little bit faster as we get on the highway see I don't like that it super merges like that I'm gonna keep on complaining about that sure it's safe but the way it works a lot of times in the mountains is you need to get over as soon as possible because there's a lot of traffic because the on-ramps are short. It just, it, and it causes like a weird like fish, like this type of movement when you get, a, get on the highway. That person was crossing my lane. They're still crossing the lane. Like they're in the middle of the road. I don't think they realize that. Anyways, oh, this is frustrating. Also, oh, they, they changed this good. Um, on the previous update, they changed it to where the speed limit was maxed out when it was raining. So I wasn't able to go faster than the speed limit. Or at least faster than 65 is what it limit, limited me to. It might have been raining slightly harder, so it might actually slow me down if that's the case. But I guess we'll find out. O otherwise, I've been rather happy with the performances. It's hard to explain how much... Or how this is better. Everything just seems slightly more refined in the, in the aspect that it's just, it's not making as many like random dumb mistakes. It, it'll randomly do a hard break or random swerve or something, which, you know, isn't, doesn't make any sense. But comparatively speaking, it seems to be doing very well. Of course, because it doesn't read the digital speed limit sign, I'm going to have to, uh, have to slow it down. I'm gonna pass this truck and then we'll get back over on the right. That's good. Cool. I like the blind spot monitoring still shows up even for full self-driving. Not sure what triggered that. Um, either the car going next to me or the fact that it, it turned and thought I was gonna run into that wall right there. I'm not sure. But you know, I don't think there are any workers working today. It is Sunday and raining outside, so I don't think that's safe to be on the side of a bridge in a valley right here. Yeah, I don't see a single worker. Yeah, see, maximum speed limits had four road conditions detected, so it's not gonna let me go above 65. Like, that's a good thing and a really annoying thing. Because people do speed way too fast when it's raining out. Though I think it needs to be a little bit more uh, less conservative because it, it's not raining that hard and there's not that much water in the road. Also, we don't need it. This guy will speed up here in a second. There's not that much water on the road right now and it's not raining that heavy. I think it should be able to go five over the speed limit. But uh, if it's raining heavier, where the wipers are going wipe, 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 then that's where it should limit it to the speed limit. 
But right now, it, it, I, I think it should be five over at least. It should, should allow it. Okay, now, now it lets me speed back up again. Okay, so it is good. It's a max of, max of five mile an hour over. Good. So this this is appropriate in my opinion. This is this is good. This is normally the most I usually go is five to seven over. I don't I'm not someone that goes nine to fifteen. I don't I don't understand people that do that. Now maybe maybe in California that's normal or something, but that's not smart here. Okay, it's slowing down phantom braking for some reason right there. Can't tell for any particular reason. They made some adjustments. Definitely 100% some adjustments been made regarding rain. Can't really tell. For what it's worth, I do have wax on my windshield, and that might affect how the windshield wipers work, which I think they're doing fine right now. right now it needs to slow down we're gonna turn off the highway just like this car in front of us is doing and so see how it's good and over right there that's exactly what my car should be doing it doesn't see how late it gets over it waits until the very end does the opposite it crosses over at the end that's it should be getting over when that car in front of me got over in fact I'm gonna go ahead and do a snapshot hopefully they understand why I'm doing that Sometimes I wish I included a little audio snippet as well on that snapshot. But um, it just, it needs to get over, it's safer. It, it is, it, if they're all about safety, it is safer to get over sooner off that exit. Because I've almost been run off the road multiple times by semi-trucks. When I first learned to drive, getting off that exit right there, I almost got ran over by a semi-truck because I didn't get off the exit soon enough. It's a real world experience needs to get over sooner okay I would have personally gone through that light but you know Tesla's being extra cautious also so I need to get over okay unfortunately this this route always does this route wrong there's an entrance right here I don't know what <laughs> I don't know I don't know what it's doing but um I'm gonna have to disengage here because uh, it's gonna want to get in the right lane again yeah okay so we're gonna disengage and what I'm gonna do is basically we're just gonna go we're going straight down this road here and we're gonna turn in we're actually gonna turn in right here but um, I'm gonna see you on the way back out and we're gonna head through that light right there back everyone so to pick up some hose clamps for my mom but um, we are on our way so this this route is very much consistent because you now we made pit stop here we just cut out that section of road right there it's the only difference and I've never once had a disengagement there so One thing I hope the car is able to see is, it's hard. I don't know if you can see the gigantic pothole right there on the right. Okay. Yeah, so I'm glad it seems to be planning. Mm -hmm. What a days ago there. I'm glad it seems to be planning before I enable it now. It used to be, it just, it would start planning when you enabled it. Um, but now it's already planning the the routes when you uh, before you enable it, basically. I always wonder though if. If when you go through intersections like that and you don't have your hands touching the wheel, like if people look at you and like, wait, is that car driving itself? <laughs> um, 
because a lot of people is this thing. We're in a bubble. If you guys are watching this video, you're in a bubble. In the Tesla Tesla community bubble. You are very much aware of what's going on in the future and what's what's happening. I can assure you that the majority of people, you know, they've heard of a self-driving car, but they've never really seen it. And they might not know Tesla even has self-driving technology or any of that stuff. And the average person is just gonna look at them like, wait, he's not touching a wheel, how is it, what? Uh, they're, not, they're gonna have no idea. A lot of people don't even know this car's electric. When I first got this car, of course it was five years ago, so it's a big difference, five years, but um, people were like, oh, is it a hybrid, or is it engines, or where are the batteries at, where's the motor at? Um, and the people still had no idea, like, oh, well, the motor's behind the rear wheels, it's the size of a watermelon, the batteries are all underneath. It's, it's still, there's still a lot of people who just don't understand that stuff. And it's just, they don't keep up, which is fine, I, I suppose. But it's, it's, but yeah, you just have to understand that we're, we're inside of a bubble when, when we're testing this stuff. We're on the cutting edge of keeping up with the latest technology, you know, Tesla bot, Tesla full self driving, AI, all that stuff. I, I really hope version 12 adds in like proper speed limit control. So it's, notice how it's 45 here. The speed limit's really 25, I think, or at least 35 over top of the bridge, and it comes to 25 right here. And it just, it should never accelerate the 45 right here. That, that just should never happen. And I'm glad it does this. So it's clearly learning. You know, maintaining max speed for traffic flow was 25 mile an hour, which is what it should do. That's, my preference is five to seven over in this area right here, just because it's just, it's, too slow more specifically this area because everyone's going like 30 in that area so if you're going 20 you're really holding up traffic see if it's gonna do this turn smoothly here good turn and say again it's doing 20 so I'm gonna up it this is my preference my preference also would be due to us making a left turn up here it should go ahead and get in the left lane now it shouldn't stay in the right lane. I can do it after this light, but it always does it the light after this one. This this light right here. It's where it changes lanes and I don't like it doing it there. Very very slow start off. It makes me wonder, because I wasn't necessarily looking straight forward when it started. I my peripheral vision could see forward. So that wasn't an issue, but I wasn't necessarily looking forward. Also, real quick, let's see where it's gonna. Oh, okay, it changed light. It's, it's gonna see where it's gonna stop. It didn't stop at the right place last time. We had a red light. See right here. This is not. Okay. Disengage, confusing traffic. Get in, in incorrect lane. Okay, as you can see, it confused that truck. That truck wanted to pull out, and I was like, get him back in its lane. Yeah, that, um, that's because there weren't any lane markings in the road because that road was just repaved and it cut it and it was wet so it made it even harder to see. Let's see how it's going to do here. I'm going to let it do everything on its own. It should not be in this lane. See, that's the thing. I very much do not think it should be in this lane, but I'm going to let it do, oh, oh, okay. Okay, well, that sucks. This is this one car we got stuck here for like several minutes. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I'm letting it do everything itself. Wow, that's rather aggressive to get a crew here. Okay, you're gonna. Uh, I'm. Uh, so you can go faster, car. Go faster. Okay. Well, I kind of liked their assertiveness going through there, but it slowed right down and stopped accelerating and didn't get over until the last second. This is what humans do, and I do not like it. Everyone that's a local hates you. If you are not a local and you do that, we hate you. <laughs> Facts. We do not like you because you, you're cutting in front of traffic, you're slowing down traffic, you're causing problems, and it's just get in the left lane and get in the proper lane. If you're gonna get over and cut in front of everyone, continue to be assertive and get over 
but don't just slow down and get over a last second trying to zipper merge into everyone. We don't, we, we hate that. I want to make that extra clear. I don't know how full self driving is going to get the memory to understand how to do that because really it, it drives the area as if it's seen it for the first time every time. It doesn't know like the shortcuts to get places. It just goes based on traffic data or it goes based on what it thinks might be the most efficient routes based on certain like weather conditions or something. It, it's not going to know. It's like, oh, well, this route is faster because I know if you get stuck at this light, like yesterday, I got stuck at a light that was three minutes long, maybe longer, it's three to five minutes. And if I if I went through the other light to go a slightly different route, even though normally that would be longer, it would have been quicker because I wouldn't have got stuck at that light. Now that type of stuff is gonna take level like hardware six plus to do. It's gonna need like actual on car like proper AI like basically AGI to start doing that stuff. That's really think methodically about how like how to most efficiently navigate an area and get to the destination in the quick least amount of time and most efficiently as well. Like stuff like that, it should go ahead and get over, like it turned the blinker on and wasn't getting over into the lane at all. Which is confusing the people around you, I'm like, well, why have the blinker on if you're not going to get over? But this is good, this unprotected left. Good behavior. It should be a little bit more assertive still, but good behavior because it completely waited for that car and as soon as it knew that car was about to pass, it started moving forward. That's, that's human-like behavior. So once it starts moving forward, it could move a little bit quicker. Otherwise, this is the end of the route test route, everyone. I think it did. I think it did acceptably well. Obviously, because of that new construction area, it messed up because it wasn't well marked lanes. That's still an excuse. It shouldn't mess up in areas that have fresh lane markings or in different lanes and all that stuff. But yeah. If you have questions for me, comments, concerns, insight, whatever you want to put down in the comments, I'm glad to hear it. I appreciate you watching, everyone. Thanks for the support. Bye.